All right. Welcome, everyone. Another just one take testing. Today we have the Velt. This is from DeJoshman. Apologies that I did not say, uh, hey, I'm godly on the last video. That will be edited in, I'm sure. I'm sure I did that in the past. Retroactively, people can call me stupid if I don't do that. However, however, this is the Velt. This weapon is not very good, but this is the build for this not very good weapon. Uh, we are on, obviously, good multi-shot, hunter munitions. This is a crit weapon. We're on the crit mods. Uh, we're on viral because that works really well with hunter munitions. But we're on prime shred because shooting more bullets gives us more chances to proc hunter munitions and all of our statuses that we want. It's also just more damage. And this weapon has a good ammo economy. And punch through lets us shoot two guys at once. So that's good. And we have serration. You could, theoretically, run galvanized aptitude. But, ever, but however, this needs on kill... And this weapon's not very good. So you already have your one on kill up here with Primary Merciless. You're going to want this upfront damage. Uh, otherwise, not a ton is going to happen. We are going to be running Neja. Uh, I've gone so far as to throw Rifle Lamp on here. And, uh, yeah. Not much else I can do. We are Roar Neja if that becomes necessary. And then we also have Blazing Chakram if we're really in the gutter. But that's going to be... Uh, that's going to be what's up. I suspect I will need both of those things for the Acolyte that will inevitably show up because we are doing Steel Path Exterminate, which I think there's one in here we can roll. Yeah, let's let's do Teshub. Let's mix it up. Let's not let's not go to the Kuva Fortress. Let's do Teshub. Why not Deadhead? Because the bullets from this gun are not going to be what kills people. That is why not Deadhead. Why not Zaramon? I could. Your weapons make music, and the enemy All right. calls for a song. Oh man, this thing. This is this is the Velt. Oh man. Oh my cat armor strips. One of the restrictions is that there's no armor stripping allowed. But I don't know that the cat's randomness really counts. But it's really helping me out here, I'll tell you that. Although it doesn't appear to be too necessary once I have a few Merciless decks. But oh boy, is it still real rough out here. Alright, I cheated unknowingly. So how much of a cheat is that, though? You gotta give me credit for not knowing I was cheating. Oh, right, I forgot the alt fire on this is even more zoom. Who in their right mind would want that? Who on who 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 would want that? Or Zoom. It's me. I wanted it. Just in that one situation though. I promise never again. Chat'll never subject you to that FOV ever again. I promise. Except for right now. There it is. Okay, we got him. I mean really more so than anything else, we're just showing off how good hunter munitions is. How many enemies is 117? Oh man, this is why we use AoE weapons. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Why are you invincible? Tell me that. Tell me that, ham sandwich. Why can't I hurt you? Oh, not enough punch through for that wall. You still invincible down here? No? All right. Oh, man. 
Man, this gameplay is what the credit craves. The, the credit, the Reddit. This is what this is what the degenerates on the Reddit want want you to do. This is what they're doing every day. Actually, I take that back. Their build probably does not even include HM. If I'm going to be honest. He's upstairs just yelling in Corpus. Just yelling at my cat in Corpus. The screaming obscenities at the feline. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. And when the acolyte shows up, we're gonna really find out what this thing can do. Shot multiplier has never once ever been more important than right now. Is it sound satisfying? It does have the it does have the grand ping. We like any weapon that has the grand ping at least a little. Like this is not this is not the worst thing I could be using here. So credit credit where credit is due. It could be worse. I will say one of the like fun things about this is that like once you know the enemies you're shooting at well enough you can determine if an enemy is already dead whenever you shoot them like this enemy's dead they just don't know it yet because of the way slash procs work which is like outrageous for anyone that doesn't know slash procs are multiplicative on your damage in total like if the whole slash proc is allowed to run it's a multiplier on how much damage you do because the slash procs will tick seven times. Oh, boy. And they tick for 35%. So whenever they tick for 35% seven times, that adds up to considerably more than 100%. Oh, thank God it's just misery, which is what I was already in. Thank you so much, Kato. The dream. Oh, how dare you. Okay, that wasn't so bad. He, st he stood perfectly still. Yeah, Kato is Gato. What we've really learned here today is that if you've got a belt, bring a cat. <laughs> like if someone dares you to use the belt, bring a cat with you. Stay focused. There's a heavy unit approaching. Uh, yeah, the belt can definitely deal with an acolyte whenever you give it like 500% bonus damage with Roar. And your two is Neja. You have broken their ranks and they are on the run. Another successful mission. I will say, I would not want to play Warframe like long term like this. But I do see that it's like, it's still like fun, right? Oh, I can just get to extraction? Who we? Debatable. It depends on the weapon. It is done, Tenno. <laughs> it is done, Tenno. It only took seven and a half minutes for you to kill a hundred guys. How many dudes did I? I got 126 guys in seven and a half minutes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, once in a great while. Well, that's why I do the free to playthroughs because I have to go back to Gears of Warframe and be like, how do I get out of here? I'm in the Stone Age. <laughs> oh, man. What a 
What a truly glorious duang that we did not play music over. Just the sound of ping, 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 ping. En enjoy that. Enjoy it, YouTube. Also, hey everyone, we have a new outro. So, sorry this has taken a little while to get going for those of you that are over on the Patreon, but thank you so much to all of the 10 plus dollar patrons. Uh, Brutus Salazar, Dylan Dworsky, uh, Efrain, Jeremy Stevens, Joshua Adams, uh, Malik X Williams, Mitchda, Trent Hallmark, Victor, and Zach Zaner. Thank you very much for being $10 patrons. Uh, and also, Thank you very much to just all the patrons in general. Uh, it's been really awesome to try and get this big website stuff off the ground. Uh, and I hope you guys continue to support me and are enjoying the content that is going up there, including this video. Uh, so yeah, it's been a fantastic time so far and hopefully we can just keep it going. Uh, have a good one, everybody. Hopefully you guys enjoy the new outro as well. I think it came out pretty nice and uh, that should do it later all.